1924 Gibson four string tenor banjo. This is my father's banjo. And as you can see, I don't know how to play banjo. But banjo is one of the key instruments in bluegrass music, along with the acoustic guitar, the violin or the fiddle, and the mandolin. So today we're going to look at bluegrass music. In fact, come with me, let's take a little road trip. We're traveling to the central part of Michigan, the state capital. Lansing. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I know that 70% of you watching are not subscribers, so what are you waiting for? Better yet, join my website as a member for free music downloads. We're in Lansing, Michigan, 90 miles west of Detroit, at Elderly Instruments, home of bluegrass and folk music. Let's go take a look. Founded in 1972, Elderly Instruments specializes in bluegrass and folk music instruments, guitars, mandolins, banjos, violins and fiddles. begins in the 1600s when people from Ireland, Scotland, and England migrated to America. They brought a basic style of music, considered to be the roots of modern bluegrass music. In the 1930s, guitarist Bill Monroe from Kentucky, the bluegrass state, adopted the name Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys for his band. The band started a new form of traditional country music, high energy and fast tempo. The classic bluegrass sound came together in 1945 when Earl Scruggs joined the band. Scruggs was from North Carolina and played a unique finger style on the banjo. Since we're here, let's take a look around Lansing. Behind me is the Capitol building. And now to Michigan State University in East Lansing play a little music in the park. We're on the banks of the Red Cedar River at Michigan State University in East Lansing, Michigan. Home of Michigan State University Spartans and Spartan Stadium. Did you know that there are many famous musicians from Michigan, such as Glenn Fry from the Eagles, Bob Seger, Madonna, Kid Rock, Ted Nugent, Smokey Robinson, Alice Cooper, Stevie Wonder, Sonny Bono, Mitch Ryder, the lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Ray Parker Jr., Jackie Wilson, DeBarge, Grand Funk Railroad, Iggy Pop, The Romantics, Doug Figer, the lead singer of The Nag, The Verve Pipe, right here from East Lansing, and Aretha Franklin. She was born in Memphis, but started singing in Detroit many, many more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Also available on all streaming platforms. See you next time.